Hello lovelies, in this video I'm going to be taking you through my 2023 predictions for 8XL Biology Paper 1. We're going to be going through the combined and the separate science predictions separately. So if you want to jump to the separate science then you can use the, the chapters or the timestamps to do that. But please remember, I am not an examiner. I have not seen this year's actual papers. This is just what I think is going to come up based on years of experience, years of looking through the papers and, you know, working out what patterns there are potentially in questions. Now, to go with this video, if you look in the playlist, that is linked down below, what I've got for you is, well, in the playlist, what you're going to find is predictions for all of the papers. So all of the Edexcel science papers and all of the, the math papers. And then what I've got for you are video walkthroughs of my predictive papers. So in these video walkthroughs, obviously you get to see the question that I think is going to come up. And then we're going to explain to you any clues the examiners are leaving for you in the question. We're going to explain to you exactly what the command words mean. If you see this command word, this is how you should structure your answer. And we're going to teach you the science directly related to the question and then a little bit to the side of the question as well. And then what we're going to do is take you through the answer and where you'll be picking up marks. So all of that is linked in the playlist, which is in the description. So for combined science, if I was going to focus my vision on any particular areas, this is what I would do. So every single year, we know they generally start off the paper asking about a cell type. So it's definitely worth learning all three cell types. So plant, animal, but this year I do quite fancy bacterial cell types. Now this links into lots of other things as well, because we can see this coming up related later on in the paper as well. But learn all your cell types and especially bacterial cells. So classification and taxonomy. This is a big, big area that didn't come up last year and what we really fancy for this year. So we're going to be looking at all of the, the people that were involved, all the changes that happened, and then kind of like the specifics of the naming system, because this is quite a tricky one to get your head around, but it is just recall at the end of the day. A couple of topics that are linked and then could be linked back to bacterial cells are selective breeding and genetic engineering. Now, we can use genetic engineering for lots of things, and there are lots of examples that you should be familiar with. But this is one of the areas that the examiners could link out to other things. It's one of the things they could put in context. The same with selective breeding. You should know lots of examples, lots of case studies or things that you've come across before in school. But you should be able to take your knowledge on selective breeding and apply it to new situations. Now, obviously, advantages and disadvantages. And this could also be a really nice evaluate question. Now, a big big topic is the heart, the circulatory system, and then linking that into the diseases of the heart as well. So coronary heart disease is one that I really, really fancy. Disease is an area that I really fancy as an area for focus this year. So looking at bacterial diseases, looking at antibiotics, how antibiotic resistance could develop, the problems involved in antibiotic resistance, and then how as a society, how scientists are using drugs development to overcome um, antibiotic resistance and any potential future problems with bacteria or viruses. This is early on a hot topic at the moment. Thinking back to cells, meiosis and sex determination. This is a really nice area for this year. So there were lots and lots of things they could ask about this. They could ask a comparison question. They could ask you to go through the stages. They could ask you to label various different bits. Now there are a couple of practicals as well, obviously we know there are always going to be practicals in this so nervous responses and osmosis are the practicals I really like you to look at when we're looking at any practicals and you should revise all the practicals that there are in paper one we need to be looking at how we can change all of the variables we need to be looking at any sources of error that might come up. We need to be looking at any graphs we could draw, we need to be looking at any changes we could make, we need to be looking at any improvements that we could make to the, the practical to make them better, to make them more accurate, to make them more precise. So please revise absolutely everything. However, those are some arees that maybe if you're a bit stuck on where to start your vision, 
those are areas that I would suggest you start your revision on and then revise everything. Because something that I haven't mentioned might come up as a one or two mark question. And in the exam, all marks are important. If you are doing NXL, Bardi Paper 1, separate science, and you want the walkthrough for the predictive paper for this year, then it is linked down in the description below. We take you through the questions that I think are going to come up, any clues the examiners or any clues that you can pick up from the wording in the exam question, exactly what the command words are telling you to do. So you can look at if this is what the command word is and this is what the question is, this is what the answer is going to be. When the walkthroughs, we teach you the science, we take you through any adjacent science, so science that might be related to the question. And then we take you through how to structure your answer. So is it okay to use bullet points or do you have to write in full sentences? That is all linked in the description down below for you. Please revise absolutely everything, but if you are a little bit stuck on areas to start your revision, or you don't really know which bits to, to do first, then this list is my suggestion of where to start, and then fill in with everything else. So we know cells always come up on the exams of animal, plants, and bacterial cells. Learn the structure, learn the organelles, be able to label it and what everything is. But one of the ones I really fancy this year is bacterial cells. And there are lots and lots of things we can link into this. So we could have in there bacterial resistance. We could have how they respond to antibiotics. And then linking into your practical seals, aseptic technique. This is a lovely, lovely practical. And there are lots and lots of things they could ask you about this. One of the things that could be linked into bacterial cells is selective breeding and genetic engineering. Now, from class, from school, you should know lots and lots of examples of genetic engineering that involve bacteria. But what you should be able to do in the exam is apply this to a new context. You should be able to know the advantages and the disadvantages of this. And this might be linked through to selective breeding as well. Now, there are lots and lots of questions they could ask about selective breeding. They could ask you some short factual questions. But they could also ask you like the big six marker questions. So the advantages and the disadvantages, the ethical side of this suggest, or it could be an evaluate selective breeding based on some data. I really want you to look at disease. So not only non-communicable diseases, but bacterial and viral diseases as well. Bacterial diseases are a big, big thing. So antibiotic resistance, your aseptic technique, and then drug development. The various different ways that scientists can um, use the bad drugs, the small molecules, the way we can get drugs from plants, the way that you know biodiversity is important for this. So how are we going to deal with the problem of antibiotic resistance in the future? And drug development is a big part of this. So for your practicals, the nervous system and response times is a practical I'd like you to look at in detail. Now obviously revise all of the practicals and when you're revising any practical, what I want you to think about is all of the variables that you could change, what are the different things you can measure, what are the different things you could change, and what are the things that you are controlling. What I want you to do is to look at the method and say, how could I improve this method? How can I make this method better? Um, if I want to talk about that in the exam, learn what the graphs look like and how you could change any of the graphs. So DNA structure and protein synthesis is another area I would like you to spend time revising. So how do we go from DNA to proteins and then all of the things that proteins can do? This could be linked through to meiosis, so the process of meiosis, how we actually get cells dividing, and then like the comparisons that we have for this. You could be asked to compare the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction. So there are lots of important command words. You can go and watch my video on how to interpret command words, or you can go and work, look at the um, predictive paper for our structured answer on this, which not only shows you how to structure the answer, but it teaches you loads and loads of the science as well. And that's sex determination. So all of your really, really nice genetic crosses. A few other things I'd like you to look at are monoclonal antibodies. Now learning the nice six mark answer for this is always a good thing. So even if it doesn't come up a six mark answer, you can then take that and apply it to other questions. Looking at the osmosis practical in detail as well, thinking about other things we could change, other things we could measure, and then looking at stem cells as well. Now, there is lots and lots in there. It can be a little bit overwhelming. To make it less overwhelming for you, then I strongly recommend you go and 
look at the playlist down below where it has all of the papers that we've done walkthroughs for. So combined, higher, separate foundation. And then that'll be a nice, easy revision for you because all you have to do is sit there and watch us and listen to us explain the sort of things we think are going to come up and how to structure your answer in the exam. Good luck, guys. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like to explain scratches. <laughs>